This lesson is on how to apply the distributive property to get partial quotients. Um, today we have the problem 630 divided by 6. And by using the distributive property and partial quotients, students can learn how to do this problem in their head. Let's first look at 630. The first thing I want to do is break up 630 using place value. If I break up 630, I could get 600 and then 30 because 600 plus 30 equals 630. Next I'm dividing by 6. The first thing to think about is 600 divided by 6 equals what? Well 600 divided by 6 gives you the partial quotient of 100. Next 30 divided by 6 gives you the partial quotient of 5. And if I add my two partial quotients together, I get 105. Therefore, 630 divided by 6 equals 105. Another way to think about it is by breaking up 630 like this. 600 and then 30 and dividing each number by 6. 600 divided by 6 equals 100, and 30 divided by 6 equals 5. And again, add your two partial quotients, and you get 105. So either way you do it, you can get the quotient of 105. Now some problems aren't as easy to use this property or to do mental division, but you can always give it a shot. Thank you for listening to my video on partial quotients and the distributive property.